we're going to talk about this uh, Echotech 2.4. It's a 2017 Chevy Equinox, 69,000 miles. It came in with a oil leak from hell. It was drooling oil up the driveway. The rear main seal, about a third of the lip it's hard to see, but about a third of the lip was pushed outward. Like, I've never seen this before. Pull the engine. You'll see that on the other video. Put a new remain seal in it. Uh, new radiator in the vehicle because the petcock was leaking. And uh, put her back together. And I'm backing it out of the shop to take it for a ride. And it dawned on me why this happened. When I first took this engine apart, one of the first things you do is take the air cleaner off, right? And this breather tube comes out of the valve cover and plugs into the side of your air filter box. Well, when I pulled this out of here, I got water dribbling, which is not unusual. We're in Michigan, humidity and cold, you get it rains inside there. So you get water. I say rain, I don't mean literally rain from like we think of rain. There's condensation, and it and it creates condensation in the engine, uh, and that moisture ended up working its way up through this tube. And when I lifted this air box off, I got it ran across my shoes. I got probably a cup of water out of that hole, and I'm like, you know, I didn't think much of it at the time because I knew it was condensation. I knew it wasn't antifreeze or anything, you know. So. I put it all back together, I got it all done here, I'm backing it out of the shop, and it dawned on me why this thing blew a rear main seal. Because that, we had a cold snap here just prior, when this, when this oil leak started, it was very cold here. And this air box inside there, you see it's got a box, it's got a, it's got a box inside here, and it's upside down now obviously. So th this thing was full of water. This thing was full. That's what came running out because it melted because it was sitting in the shop. And this thing was full of water and the, the, in the, the inlet from the tube is below where it crosses over here to go into the air. Because that breathes air. You know, it's, this is sucking air all the time, right, from the throttle body. And you see it's, it's the air box, the inlet is lower than the air tube. Can you see that? So this was full. Of water and it froze and of course once that froze and you got a good seal here with a rubber o-ring to this valve cover there was nowhere for the combustion gas to go it built up pressure and blew the seal out so I drilled a hole in the bottom of this this little block okay so the water will hopefully next winter uh, will you know, when they shut it off, it'll 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 be warm enough. There'll be enough mo hot air that'll come up off the engine. If there's ever any ice in there, it'll melt, and it and the water will have a chance to get out of that box. So, if you have one of these two fours uh, that has this style design air cleaner on it, you want to pull that apart and drill a hole in there. And you know, I don't know, like this is just a u this is a unique air cleaner box for this Equinox. I mean, they're all. All these two fours have different shaped boxes and all that. You know, I'm not saying they're all going to suffer this problem, but on this particular 2017, that's certainly a problem. Cost the guy a lot of money. We had to take the whole engine out, put a rear seal in it, everything. Big, big job. All because of this. So, anyway, that's it.